We are filming the intro right now because we have two cats on the desk, which I actually don't think we've ever had. So anyways, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be going over some of the basic concepts to becoming good at fingerboarding. We have only seen this cat in about one other video. He has something stuck in his whiskers. Uh, okay. Well, there you go for another year. Also, if you're unfamiliar, that is Whiskey, and we've had him for pretty much coming up on a year now, and he's only been in one video, so you're welcome. So, fingerboarding. The concept is honestly super simple, and it's basically a wooden board, wheels, trucks, grip tape, and you have yourself a miniature skateboard. But you see so many videos on how to do certain tricks and stuff, but that doesn't really teach you how to become good at fingerboarding. That teaches you a specific trick. But this video is going to go over everything you pretty much need to know about getting good at fingerboarding. So something that really made me progress faster is finding an obstacle or feature that you really love to use that's really fun and just keep using it. Because when you're having fun doing something, you progress way faster. So over the course of the last year, I've made numerous obstacles that I really like and also some that I don't like but the point is is the ones that I do like I use for like a month straight until I get bored of them and I make another one or buy another one and then continue using that one so an obstacle that really helped me progress way faster was this obstacle because it's honestly a super simple obstacle but it's not very hard to use and you can definitely do some technical stuff as well So on a simple ledge like this, you have a few different options. You can do manuals on it, you can do pretty much any type of grind on it, and you can do a lot of different stuff on it. So definitely one of my favorite obstacles I've ever made, and it really helped me progress way faster. So the next thing to make you become a better fingerboarder is setting a trick goal. Basically come up with a trick, it can be hard or easy, and basically keep working until you have that trick dialed. This can be as simple as even just hopping up on a ledge, because it can be hard at times if you're a beginner, and it can take like numerous tries just to hop up on a ledge but once you get it it will be very rewarding and then you can set your next goal so the next thing that I would suggest doing if you want to get into fingerboarding and progress way faster is get yourself a wooden fingerboard and if you don't have the money and you're still using a tech deck that is fine but I am saying that Doing tricks on a tech deck definitely takes more skill than on a proper fingerboard. Tech decks are still considered a fingerboard, but they're basically like the cheapest fingerboard you can get. But I'm not saying they're completely bad because some pro fingerboarders are sponsored by tech deck and they're really good at tricks. But if you are still using a tech deck, think about trying to mod like the bushings, the wheels, the grip tape, all of that sort of stuff because that's gonna make doing tricks way easier. I'll put some links in the description to a couple fingerboards from Amazon and those are basically your entry level pro fingerboards with foam grip tape, wooden decks, bearing wheels, turning trucks. And they're honestly not that bad of a board. I started out on one and I progressed way faster than just using a tech deck so I definitely recommend getting one and they're also pretty cheap. So this next thing is for if you are a fingerboarder but you often feel like unmotivated to fingerboard, definitely start watching other people's fingerboard YouTube videos on YouTube. Just watching a David Jones video or somebody else's fingerboard video like maybe mine I don't know so it really helps you want to get fingerboarding again and get better at it so definitely watching other people's YouTube videos really helps you be motivated to fingerboard. So for the final tip about becoming better at fingerboarding is definitely mindset. Because mindset plays a huge role in getting good at fingerboarding and really any sport or any activity. If you don't really know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about if you are thinking a trick is way harder than it actually is, just trick your mind into thinking that it is easy because chances are it actually is. Take a heel flip for example. If I'm in the mood where it's like a heel flip is a hard trick and I don't really even know how to do it. Chances are I'm not going to land that mini. But if I just think to myself, well, other people do it and other people make it look so easy, then it's honestly not that hard of a trick. Sure, it will still take you numerous tries to get it, but it's definitely way less than trying for a hundred times and still not getting it. And this can be said for pretty much any sport or any fingerboard trick. Even if you're just starting out at fingerboarding and you want to learn your first ollie, still, an ollie is a hard trick. But if you just trick your mind into thinking that it's easy, it actually is easy. <laughs> Shall we? 
So staying on this topic of mindset, just keep practicing because practice makes perfect and that's pretty much said for anything in life. I get so many comments on the videos I've made about tutorials like how to kickflip or how to ollie or how to 360 flip, pretty much any trick tutorial that I've ever made. I get so many comments just saying, I've been trying this for days and I still can't get it. But pretty much all fingerboard tricks you're not really even meant to get in like days because some people it takes them like a year to get a clean kickflip or ollie so just keep practicing i'm not saying it will take you a year but i'm just saying it definitely does take time to get good at anything So that wraps up this video. I really hope you did enjoy it. I really hope you found this video helpful. So just keep practicing and that's pretty much it. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button over there if you have not already, it's free. You can always unsubscribe later. And this is what everybody else says. Two more videos down there. Social media links are in the description down below and I will see you in my next video.